Bungoma. Hey, Bungoma. So now the people are listening by radio now. I want you to talk to your people at home. Tell them to wait for you at the bus stop. So that you can celebrate. Talk to them. My, my family members who are uh, in Asoko, in Maiti, and who are also in the Sams. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad to say that I have received healing from my three problems. I have, I have, I have my eyes now seen. I have also diabetes gone. I have also my legs are no longer paining me. I'm very happy and wait for me at, at the bus book. Yeah, the bus book in, in Kanduru. We are riding there at 3 a.m. Thank you. Now, look. And he went. He broke down. You see that? Now, listen, precious man. Your name? Evans Mukanda. Evans Mukanda? Yes. You are a very honorable man. Yes, I was a clerk to Bungoma County Council. You were the clerk to Bungoma County Council? Yes, up to 1988. Then transferred to Bungoma Bay. Uh, when I dis that is when I disagreed with, him, with my minister in Bungoma, Mangale. Okay, I now, I now I want you to, to follow me. We have another camera there. The global community would like to see this also. Nataka unifate kuna kamera nyingine hapa ya kidunia, ya kimataifa. Pia nao jumuye ya kimataifa wangependa kujionea. And this kind of healing is free of charge, right? Yes, sir. 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 Six or seven years old, you've never seen anything like this. I never witnessed something like this. I want you to look this way. Excuse me, just behave like a pastor. Be here. Stand here. Stand here and wave at him. What's the big deal there? Why always act child? Acting, right? I want you to look there. Down here. And tell me what somebody is doing. If you look down, there are people. Are you able to see them? Go closer and greet them. I can only see. They now the problems they have are in this. Go now and touch those hands and greet them. Stop and greet them. Now only the hands you can see. Welcome, Boneko. Only the hand you can see, you touch. You can see? Those ones. But so they were doing what? But not here, I know. Why do they always say, I can see those ones seated? When they see the heads, they think you are seated, right? Almost all the blind that the Lord, whose eyes the Lord has opened, they always look at your heads and say, I can see those ones seated. How many can you see? Nabi, I can see those, I can see the crowds, the crowd of people. Yeah. What, 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 hold on. What is the crowd doing? Why, why am, why am I not very really clear with my vision? I'm not, but I'm, I'm sure I just improve it. What are you seeing the crowd doing, I am asking you? Okay. Because the eyes have just opened. They have to be told to live with sight now. <laughs> What are they doing? People, please. Look at the crowd. What are they doing? They are waiting. Where are they? Where are they waiting? To? Where are they waiting to? Waiting to me. Okay, come this way. Over here, there are pastors. 
I'm just taking two more minutes of your time, then I'll finish. I want the Lord to be glorified. I know you've been blind, but now you have to learn to live with sight. It's a good place to be, to learn. Okay? Yes, I'm, I'm, seeing, I, I'm seeing the line of them. The line of them? The line of them. From here up there. From where? From here up there. The line of them. <laughs> okay, now, one of them is giving you something. Take it. Sorry? One of them is giving you something. Giving you something. Okay. okay. Lift your head up a little bit, then you'll see, yes. Now, where the line begins from. When I come this level, I don't see, but up to here. You are doing like this. What were you doing? He's touching his eyes. <laughs> that is very good. We bless the Lord. And then one of them is giving you something. Take it. Lift up your head. They have to learn to lift up their heads up. Yes, don't, don't, yes, don't let him touch it. Don't let him touch it. Put his hands away. Don't let him touch it. Thank you. You bless the Lord now. One of them wants to greet you. He might be your pastor. He might be your pastor. This is the most beautiful stage. Now at home, they have to start walking with him stepwise, showing him the stepwise. Take this. Why, why, why do you see this so clearly and you say you don't want to touch it? It's very clear to me. I don't know why. Touch it then. And give it to me. <laughs> Touch it and give it to me. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you so much. Now, who are the parents? I mean, what, this man is a popular man. He was the town clerk, right? Yes. So, his family, you call it by name? I'm Evans Muganda. Evans Muganda. Now, do you know that out of this healing, because of your position in society, many people in Mungoma will receive Jesus. They will come home to see you walking without this and greeting them and saying you can see them, whatever, you know. And I think it's good. And uh, good. You used to run to the restroom and for, day, for, for short calls every from every day, every day after. Uh, 15, 20 minutes. But you can imagine from yesterday, I had, of course, uh, very small, a very little of it uh, this morning, but I'm not feeling anything. I'm not feeling like anybody sick with diabetes. <laughs> the Lord bless you. Okay, now, take a seat. Take a seat and sit down. Take an empty seat. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. I don't know why you chose the last one. Let us clap to the Lord. I don't know why he chose the last six. Which group again? I want to take in groups. Pastor, I bless the Lord for your healing. Come up. This is a pastor whom the Lord has healed here. And now he can hold things with his hand. Which one? This one. This man suffered paralysis. <laughs> and he's a pastor <laughs> from Narok, right? PAG Church in Narok. PAG Church in Amen. In Narok. Amen. Thank you so much. What can you do that you cannot do now? It is beautiful to see pastors heal. <laughs> it is very mighty. <laughs> Otherwise, you can now go down. Yeah, leave the healed people on their own. You see that? It's good to see pastors heal. Because that means the Lord is restoring the testimony in the church. You cannot be a deliverer unless you yourself have been delivered. 
How many people know this pastor? Watu wangapi wanamjua huyu mchungaji? Come come from Narok, right? Jo, kutoka Narok, sivyo? That can be only two minutes. We need to finish the testimonies, move to the next segment. Yes, you know this pastor, take a microphone in your hand. Man, I'm going to know this man. Yes. He is a pastor from PAG. PAG, Pentecostal Assemblies of God. Yes. And some years he was serving in Berlin, but uh, he was transferred to Narok Town. Yes. So, so when he arrived to Narok Town, mm. he got paralyzed. He got paralyzed. Yes. Immediately when he arrived to Narok Town, he was to take over. Okay, so overseer. paralyzed for after how long? What is that? It's uh, what? This is your father. Yes. Come, run, run. I don't have time. Give me a, give I need to finish and move others. Yes. So we, we, we were in Mombasa. Uh, the Lord then healed him, and today the Lord healed the mouth. He can speak and with the hand, right? Yes. He used not to hold anything. I, I visited him, and he used not to hold anything. You visited him? Yes. And he was he used not to hold anything. But uh, yesterday, when you prayed, he was healed. Mm. The, hand, the hand was healed. Now he can hold things. Yes, he can hold things and even if Someone give things. me a bottle of water. I want to see if he can really hold things. This is heavy. Heavy. You know, are you aware this is heavy? Okay. <laughs> the Lord be glorified. Thank you so much. So what do you say about your father? He was in one minute. He was paralyzed. Uh, he was paralyzed on the 13th of February, then uh, he was, yes, this year. Then uh, I went to Mombasa, from there I took the phone and I left the other one at home. Then uh, when you are praying at Mombasa, I connected him. And he was not also talking. Then the first one he said is, Amen and Jesus Christ. When I was in Mombasa up to Nanoka, I'm praying for the sick. You remember how the Lord healed people there? This man's faith is mountain faith. He left one phone in Narok and he came with one phone to Mombasa and he connected him to hear the prayer. And then the speech returned. The speech returned immediately, but now he cannot uh, converse very many words. But that time he was able to say Jesus Christ and Amen. When I, we brought him on Friday, he could not lift his hand like this. He was just, we will have supported. Then today I was even crying there because I saw him here lifting. Thank you so much. The Lord bless you, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus. Can we bring the paralytics, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the cripples that were healed, the, 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 the mama that was healed, crippled, she's there? Because I need to take them as a group to cut on time. I gave you the job of serving water here. If you don't want to do so, I'll do it myself. I want to serve the Lord. I don't care. I just serve the Lord. I, I don't even care about anything else. Only the Lord. When the Lord is healing people like this, I really will serve the Lord. I will serve the Lord. Yes. Because they've gone to hospitals, upon hospitals and hospitals, and the senior doctors are here, the two directors of medical services are here. When they come and speak here, you cry. You give people water. Yes. 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 If you look at this woman's crippled legs, and the way she's walking, you'll cry. Maliza maji araka na kuitaji hapa. Na kuitaji hapa. Where are the other cripples? 